Hi everyone, about a minute from Grand Rapids, Michigan. I'm standing here on the banks of the Grand River outside the JW Marriott. I'm about to give a speech to the Michigan Electric Cooperative Association. And it's not Texas, it's kind of snowing and raining here. So I'm gonna make this quick. What am I gonna talk about today to the Michigan Electric Cooperative Association? One of the key things is land use conflicts. This is something I've been writing about for a very long time. Uh, the latest numbers from the Renewable Rejection Database, 639 rejections or restrictions of wind or solar in the United States since 2015. And those numbers are continuing to go up. But Michigan is one of the hot spots, in fact, for these land use conflicts. And it's one of four states that in the last couple of years has passed legislation that allows state bureaucrats in the state capital to Bigfoot local communities and force them to take wind and solar projects they don't want. Now, uh, home rule has been a, a, one of the bedrocks of a, American democracy for a long time. Um, but yet here in Michigan, because the pressure to uh, add more wind and solar has been so intense and the lobby effort has been so intense, state, state legislators passed a bill uh, that gives bureaucrats in Lansing the ability to Bigfoot local communities. And this is a real problem, but it's not just Michigan. It's in Illinois, California, and New York. What, what are the similarities there? All are very heavily democratic states, controlled or democratically controlled uh, legislatures and democratically controlled uh, governors. So this, uh, this big footing of local communities is just an example of land use conflicts and they are raging here in Michigan. In fact, I wrote about it on my Substack last year. I was in Ida Township, which is south of Ann Arbor, uh, and talked with local people there who uh, were fighting a solar project and they were successful in fending it off, uh, but they may not be able to in the future because of this state level uh, uh, mandate and the state level rather big footing of local communities. All right, so I'll sign off from uh, Grand Rapids here. Uh, you know where to find me. I'm on Substack, robertbryce.substack.com. Thanks a lot. See you.